I've said this before, AI is one of the most profound things we are working on humanity, uh, as humanity. It's more profound than fire or electricity or any of the other bigger things we have worked on. Uh, it has tremendous positive sides to it, but you know, it has real negative consequences. You know, when you think about uh, technologies like facial recognition, it can be used to benefit, it can be used to find missing people, but it can be used for mass surveillance. And as, as democratic countries with a shared set of values, we need to you know, build on those values and make sure when we approach AI, we are doing it in a way that serves society. And that means making sure AI doesn't have bias, that we build and test it for safety. We make sure that there is human agency, that it's ultimately accountable to people. In about 18 months ago, we published a set of principles under which we would develop AI as Google. Mm -hmm. But it's been very encouraging to see the European Commission has identified AI and sustainability as their you know, top priorities. Mm -hmm. And it's in, US put out a set of principles last week. And be it the OECD or G20, they're talking about this, which I think is very, very encouraging. And I think we need a common framework by which we approach AI. Are you, are you satisfied with those frameworks you said, which have been developed until now? I mean, you referred to the OECD framework, G20 framework. It's an early start. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm very encouraged that they are, they have a lot of commonality and that's because they are rooted in common yeah. human values. So I think it's a great start, but we need to get more specific and, and evolve it significantly. Uh, I think the European Commission is working on yeah. Uh, you know, a white paper yeah. around AI, and uh, I think that's an important first step, and we all need to engage. As a company, we are committed to engaging in the process, but it's going to need everyone from around the world. AI is no different from climate. You know, no. you can't get safety by just having one country or a set of countries uh, working on it. You know, you need a global framework uh, to arrive at a safer world there.